to our home in Sardinia. We are in the northern part of the island in a little town called Canigione. And it's a cute little villa that has uh, three apartments in it. And we are in the largest apartment with three bedrooms. So let's take a look inside. So when you walk in, you're immediately in the living area. It's like the living room. We haven't much spent much time in this room because as you can see, we have this gorgeous view of the port. So most of our time has been outside on this patio. It has 180 degree views. Perfect view of like the blue Mediterranean Sea. The sun rises over there in the east and it sets behind us. And um, there's also this beautiful pool here. So we've just been enjoying quality time here with our parents and it's, uh, it's just breathtaking. And here's a little foosball table that we've been playing some games at. It's been really fun to play with their parents. It's, it's actually very sweet. I, I didn't know my parents could play foosball, actually. And that your dad was so good. He's great. Okay, next let's go see the kitchen. So the kitchen is over here and it's very charming and um, so cute. So I love the tiles here with the different colors. You've got this antique stove um, with like I don't know how to use her, but it's, it's really pretty. <laughs> I love this wall as well. You've got um, pots and pans that are made of copper. It's like an assortment of, of all these different shapes. And then you've got um, some ceramics up there. I love the wood uh, beams that go across the ceiling. It's just, it's a cute kitchen. It, it looked a little small from the photos, but it's actually very spacious. So it's super comfortable to cook in here. We've been, we've been cooking all the time, and then, of course, we've been eating dinner out on the patio. Breakfast, lunch, pretty much all of our meals here, except for a couple of restaurants. And then we've got this cute little window that looks out into the water as well from the kitchen. All right, let's go see the bedrooms. Okay, so there's a little nook area with a pull-out bed. Of course, no one has been using it because um, we have three bedrooms and we have Dan and me, my parents and Dan's dad. And so all the bedrooms are occupied. Um, but there's a little cute library here, with some books. And uh, let's go see what the bedrooms are like. And this is the room that Dan and I are staying in. It's got a little desk, no smoking. And here's the bed with really beautiful um, sculpture. And uh, here is our balcony. Let's check that out. Beautiful. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi. You're so cute. And moving on, this is a little closet area. A nice view of the <laughs> yard. <laughs> that just, that's just amazing. And um, the in-suite bathroom. So we've got a little vanity here, a bidet, and a jacuzzi. This is the room my parents are staying in. Beautiful view of the mountains, as you can see. A little bit of an ocean view. Wow. It's got this little window, I think that's storage up there and a beautiful walk-in bathroom. Full standing shower, double vanity. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's beautiful. Here's a third bedroom. We've got a nice little desk space. Got a view of the yard and the grill. Mountains, probably um, catch a really beautiful sunset here. And it has a walk-in bathroom, luggage rack. It's pretty cute. Bidet, standing shower, and a little vanity. Hi, cutie. Hi. You're so sweet. So that's pretty much the living area in the house. And oh, I did want to say that we learned that this house was built from scratch in 2002, so it's about 21 years old, and um, the construction looks really nice. It's, it feels really solid, and it feels 
like it's older than 21, but um, I think that's part of the charm. Just it's so rustic and um, chic. All right, let's go take a look at the gardens outside. All right, so when you step out, you immediately can see the olive trees all around. There's a little parking structure. We have our car, um, and then you have the mountains overlooking um, the sea, but that's, that's west, and then Let's go east so we can see the pool. So the windows from the living room. This is the view from Dan's dad's room, my parents' room. And of course we have the most beautiful view over here. Yeah, so I've just been coming down out here every morning after sunrise to sit by the pool and just watch the sun rise above the mountains. We've been swimming here every day. Just relaxing, it's been a really relaxing trip. Here we have the infinity pool. It's very, very pretty. It is heated to about 31 degrees Celsius, um, which I think is like 80 for us. So yes. it's, it's a little cool when it's windy out, but I like, I think once you're in for, for like three minutes, you're it's actually very warm. Um, we do cover it in the evenings to try to conserve energy, but it's, it's just really nice to, to, uh, to go for a swim during the day. There's also an outdoor shower, which is really beautiful. Uh, we haven't used it yet because it's been a little cold. Maybe we should use it actually instead of running all the way upstairs, <laughs> like might as well. Um, and I love the lantanas on the side. We actually have purple lantanas back in Austin, so I recognize them here. These are obviously yellow lantanas and some daisies. But it seems like they have a really long growing season here, so I'm really enjoying the flowers. I was not expecting to, to experience that here until late in October. We've really enjoyed our quality time out here with the family and just at the end of our trip after traveling Rome, Florence, Tuscany, like to be in Sardinia for three uh, full days on the north coast and just to relax. It's It's been the perfect way to end the trip. And it's October, so it's kind of shoulder season. There's not that many um, travelers around. So I feel like we have the run, the, the run of the place. Like we pretty much are like the only people in town. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just so beautiful to be out here. Mm-hmm. <laughs>